right, hey guys, She Detector here. So today we're gonna be doing some underwater metal detecting at one of the islands off the coast of Florida. So let's get to doing some metal detecting. Okay, so today I'm out here with the Macro Multi Cruiser. Woo! This is a completely waterproof machine, so it can be completely submerged, and I do believe it is good to 20 feet deep. We're not gonna be going that deep today, but we are going to be doing some snorkeling. All right, so I'm gonna get set up and we can get to doing some metal detecting in the water. All right, guys, so I've got the cruiser on and I wanna let you know what my settings are. So I am hunting in beach. My ground balance is zero. And I went over to my options and I turned on my vibrate and I set it at level five. Since I'm going to be hunting underwater, I'm not going to hear any of the sounds coming out of the back speaker. So I do have the vibrate setting on and I can feel it. I tested it with my little scoop over here and you could hear it there, but I can feel it vibrating in the shaft and over here in the handle.
wind has picked up and it has caused a whole bunch more waves. So I'm moving up here to land and I'm going to do some land hunting still with the cruiser. And I noticed that there's this nice little cutout area right here, kind of between the main water. There's this little ridge and then this little cutout here. So I think I'm going to hit this area and then also the dry sand and see what we can find. All right, guys, so I'm still hunting in beach. My ground balance right now is reading one. I have my volume at 10 and I have my vibrate still on and it's set at five. Got my first target on land here. It's reading as a solid 25. And I'm using my hand scoop because this is what I was using out in the water. Oh, so I missed it. So it might be kind of deep. I found it. It's a Capri Sun. Alright guys, so I swung over this target but I can see it. It's a quarter it looks like. Or no. Uh, it's either a nickel or a dime. Can't tell but it's been here for a while. So I am on Coin Island. This is the island that I refer to as Coin Island just because I always find coins here. That's not what it's actually called, but that's what I call it. Alright guys, so I've got a target that's jumping all around here. I see it. It's a pull tab. Whoop. I'm not sure why that was jumping around. Pull tab. It was weird. Yeah. It was weird that it was jumping around like that. So this is in the high 20s, low 30s. I found it. Looks like foil. Yep, foil. Okay. I went and got my shoes because I was on the sand and it was getting hot. <laughs> so I got my shoes. All right, guys, so here are my finds for my snorkeling water hunt with the macro cruiser. So I found a piece of a crab pot, two little pieces of iron. I found this kind of cool looking shell, so I picked it up. Um, a Capri Sun bottle, a glob of foil, pull tab, a bolt, a button, which I thought was pretty neat. I've not really found any buttons. Um, I found the end of what's either a fork or a spoon, and then I found one quarter, two nickels, and then five pennies, and some of these pennies are really, really corroded. So this one here actually came apart, and I mean, it is like paper thin, so it's been there for a while, and then this one here too is all gunked up and has just stuff all built around it. 
But yeah, so those are all my finds for my snorkeling hunt. Alright guys, so before I get into my normal wrap up for this video, I want to let you guys know about some sad news that I found out recently. So the metal detecting community is a pretty small one in kind of the big scheme of things, or at least on YouTube. So most of us that have been hunting for a couple of years and posting on YouTube kind of know each other and watch each other's videos. So when I first started, I was looking for other beach hunters and I found this one particular hunter in North Carolina. Her YouTube channel is Basia Today, or Basia, it's B-A-S-I-A, -A, Today, and she hunts in North Carolina. So I've been watching her pretty much since I started, but I did find out that she recently passed away. She actually passed away on May 27th, and I found out probably about a week or so afterwards. So by the time you guys are seeing this video, I found out a week ago. I was really sad to find out that she passed away. Um, I never met her in person. I would have loved to have met her in person. I really enjoyed her videos and she really did seem like just an all around genuinely nice person. And I'm just, uh, I, don't, I don't really even know what to say. Just to find out that she passed away is just really, really sad. Again, I didn't know her in person, but I really did enjoy watching her and learning from her. So I just wanted to let some of you guys know, in case you didn't know, if you are a viewer of hers or subscriber of hers, in case you didn't know, I wanted to make sure that everybody knew. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my underwater snorkeling hunt with the cruiser. I had a blast hunting with this machine. Previously I had really only used it on land. I like doing a land hunt first before I do my water hunting. And when I was using it on land, it performed amazing. It was a phenomenal machine. It was very, very quiet. It was not chattery like some machines can be if they're not made specifically for like beach hunting, saltwater hunting it was not chattery at all. So I had high hopes for it going into my first water hunt with it. So this was my first true completely submerged water hunt with this machine and I loved it. I really really loved it. Um, so I told you guys my settings in the video. I pretty much kept those same settings when I moved towards the drier sand or the part that wasn't necessarily underwater anymore at the end of my video. Kept the same settings throughout the entire hunt. It performed fantastic both in the water and on land. So one of the things that I really, really like about this machine is that when you're in the beach mode, it was silent search. At least that's what it defaults to. You could probably adjust the settings so that you have maybe a threshold sound um, if you want. I've not tried it, so I don't know if I can do that yet. But me personally, I really am a fan of the silent search. I really do like that. Overall, I am a fan of the Cruiser. So far, it's, I mean, there's not a lot of machines that I am super, super stoked about. This is one of them, especially at the beach. Now, I've not used it on land, but based on how it behaves at the beach, I'm sure it does phenomenal on land, too. So, yeah, there's not many machines that I will give pretty much all-around praise about if it's not made specifically for the beach. But, yeah, I'm very surprised with the Cruiser, honestly, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed those clips. Um, I have something big coming up for this weekend, and I'm super duper excited about it. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. My Patreon people already know what it is, so if you're interested in what it is, or if you just want all-around exclusive content that you're not going to find here on my channel, go check out my Patreon page. I do have it linked up here in the card, and it's also down below in the description. So, yeah, again, my Patreon people know what it is. You guys will have to wait to find out till next week's video. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section located just down below. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit this video with a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel yet, please make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you guys later.